The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen. But so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. mentioned before, John's gospel very much focuses on the interior life, the inner life of our relationship with God through Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. And we can see an expression of that right at the end of today's passage in the gospel when he says, amen, amen, I say to you. And as we mentioned before, usually when Jesus says a couple amens in a row, that means pay attention this is significant. Uh, it, you need to focus on this. And then he says, and at first it may be hard to even comprehend. I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. In other words, that uh, hopefully we're the ones sent by the Lord into daily life. And in a way, to live out that responsorial psalm, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The world looks in so many directions for goodness every day and often falls short or gets disillusioned or becomes resentful because whatever goodness they were looking for didn't happen in the way they wanted. We're about proclaiming the goodness of God, not trying to find goodness in wealth or honor or pleasure or anything like that. We'll always be disappointed but looking to and open up to the goodness of God because we've experienced that goodness and understandably want to share it. And we see, so whoever receives the one I send receives me. So in some way, when people are open to us, we, that uh, the Lord is working in and through us, even in spite of all our faults and sinfulness, we are those earthen vessels, but we carry the treasure of God. And so, knowing that, that, whoever receives the one I send, us, receives me. And whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me, the Father. The Father. So we're talking relational again. That it, we hopefully, in each other as Christians, experience the Christ. And in and through the Christ, the, power, the Father. And all of that, in and through the movement of the Holy Spirit. And so, in John's Gospel, again... The heart of it is prayer. The heart of it is that relationship. That relationship with each other in and through Christ that brings us to the Father. And that's the goodness of the Lord. That's the goodness of each day when we're in right relationship with our loving God. And we allow that God to touch us, to love us, and we pass it on. And in that, we ultimately experience the Creator and Father of us all. So... Recognizing that, John especially in his gospel reminds us the heart of our faith and the heart of our witness is to be prayerful. And in being prayerful, hopefully we'll show just by who we are and by our whole demeanor that we sing of the goodness of the Lord. And goodness knows, God knows, our culture and our world needs his goodness. Take that quiet moment. God bless you.